Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Montgomery High School is being brought to you by Princeton Orthopedic Associates. Montgomery and Wachung Hills, two programs with a lot of promise this season, duke it out here at Montgomery. Starting in the first inning, it's Montgomery who jumps out to the early lead. Kyle Kaminsky with the grounder through the infield, moves Ryan McKenna over to third, and Tommy Denlinger with the Texas Leaguer picks up the RBI for the Cougars, who lead 1-0 at the end of the first. And Montgomery continues in the second. Stephen McKenchney doubles deep to left field, and then Dylan Jardes goes deep as well. No catch, and it brings in another run for Montgomery, but the Cougars aren't done. Ryan McKenna at the plate. He gets underneath that one, and oh yeah, it has the distance. A two-run homer for McKenna, and the Cougars lead 4-0 at the end of the second. But the fourth inning would be a big one for the Warriors. Trailing by just two, Tyler Riley singles to center. He picks up the RBI to make the score 4-3 Montgomery. With first and second now occupied, Andrew Martins doubles with a shot down the line, bringing in the tying run for the Warriors. Then the pitcher, Mike Murray, already with one hit today, lines another one to center, and both Riley and Martin score on that. Murray gives himself a little cushion going into the fifth inning with the score 6-4 Warriors. Relief comes in in the fifth and the Warriors take home the win with the final score 6-4. What a comeback by Wachung Hills. They out hit Montgomery 9-7 with Murray taking home the W along with two hits and a couple of RBIs. Next up for Wachung is Morristown. From Montgomery, I'm Courtney DuPont and you're watching Jersey Sports Zone. Want to see highlights and features from your favorite school? Jersey Sports Zone is entirely supported by our great sponsors. Email marketing at jerseysportszone.com to get your business in front of our loyal audience and highlights from your hometown.